Cool. All right. It's time to call this regular monthly meeting to order for the Scarborough Sanitary District. It's April 27th, 2023. Uh, we'll call the roll. Ben McDougal. Here. Tony D'Amelio. Here. Mike Stein. Here. Joe. Here. Jason. Here. And I'm Nick, um, Chairman. All right. Approval of the minutes for the March regular monthly meeting. Move approval. Thank you, Jason. Second. 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 Thank you, Ben. Three seconds. Any corrections, additions, captains? Barring none. All in favor? Not opposed. Uh, not to mention that Ruth Summers has an excuse to for attendance report. Dave, you are up. A copy of the monthly report of operations for the month of March is uh, included in your packet. Our average ethanol flow was 1.68 million gallons per day. Our ethanol quality was well within our permitted limits. We averaged 95. 98% removal for BOD and TSS with concentrations of 9 and 3 milligrams per liter. Copy, the pump, copy of the pump station flows for the uh, month of March is also included in your packet. Uh, the flows for pump station number 12, 24 started on March 16th are erroneous. At that time, we replaced the control panel and the flow data was not calibrated. And the calibration uh, was completed this month. Uh, let's see, pump station 27 at the Downs is the new, newest uh, pump station. It's, um, and uh, we did a plenary punch list to walk through of it the other day. It's fully up and running right now. It just uh, pretty much needs um, the final touches, uh, paving, grass, uh, cleaning up. Um, all the alarms and pumps have already been tested. Um, on April 3rd, we presented our design for pump station number one, which is down at Snows King Road. Uh, to the, uh, we presented that to the town planning board for an advisory opinion. Uh, they provided some minor comments that we will incorporate into the drawings, include that uh, specifically uh, addressed uh, both landscaping and lighting. So uh, that project's moving right along. I've been meeting with an anaerobic digester company to reduce sludge and to generate energy. These discussions are in their infancy, um, and I'll keep you up to date as they progress. And at the same time, uh, I've been talking to uh, uh, Siemens Corporation about a potential battery storage project that they're, they're trying to propose for us uh, to help shape our peak energy demands. Again, this is uh, in its infancy, and uh, we'll see how that develops. Uh, on, that, uh, on that note, uh, last year when we went out to bid for electricity, the bids we received were very high at uh, point, uh, 16 cents a kilowatt hour. Consequently, we broke our contract up into two contracts, one for a 12-month period and the other for a 24 months. Basically, what we did is we provided the large, uh, uh, the, the, the higher volume projects and the uh, smaller pump stations groups and so we just went out to the bid for the 12-month renewal and received a much more favorable bid of uh, 11 cents per kilowatt hour uh, that will go into effect in December um, that 11 cents a kilowatt hour I secured that contract for a two two year period at this point in time. Yeah. 11 cents for both plant and the pump station? No these are for the small capacity. Just small. Yeah. <coughs> and next uh, next year we'll go out for the plan. Um, let's see, FOP fast results. Uh, we received the, the most recent one, uh, which has been conducted by the state, and uh, that result came in at 65.8 milligrams per liter. So um, we're still pretty much tracking about where we have been for a while. Uh, I've gotten the most recent invoice from Casella with regards to the sludge disposal uh, and the increases uh, due to LD 1911 and 1639, one addressing the PFAS and one, uh, the other, um, 
requiring, uh, not allowing out of state oversized bulky waste, which is now uh, causing our sludge to be hauled up in the front of Canada. So our current fee for disposal is now at $215 a ton. Uh, just in comparison, about 18 months ago, we were paying uh, $79 a ton. So um, this budget has ballooned from a $200,000 line item to a $600,000 line item as a result of the legislation. Uh, and then finally, I, I really want to uh, thank staff and trustees. As you all know, my mother passed away recently. And uh, <clears throat> the staff was incredible in how they took care of the plant while I was out of the office for those two weeks. And um, they really did a, an exemplary job. With, uh, and, I, and I had no issues at the plant. And they were just wonderful. And, and thank you for all your cards and, and the flowers and what have you. I feel like you appreciate it. Oh, cool. Any questions for this one? Um, I, I do have one question. Um, I, I see the average effluent flow with 1.68 MGD, and I think typically aren't we around 1.3 and 1.4? Typically, we're around, you know, we've been, I would say right now we're running about 1.4. Okay. So, so this is somewhat weather impacts. Right. I, I, I did notice toward the first of the month we had like about an inch of rain mm -hmm. and there must have some snow melts. I know a couple days we were up over 2 yeah. MGD. That's when we usually see the, the biggest increases is during the spring yeah. time, snow melt situation, heavy rain, the snow on the ground, and, and we can see some significant. Well, I wouldn't even call them significant. Right. It's just an increase. Right. Any other questions for the superintendent? Okay. Moving on. How to correspond to those? Uh, Representative Sokolowski. Yes. Uh, I attached a letter um, to Representative Sokolowski from the Maine Water Environment Association which I have signed that supports a 20-month stay of uh, LD1639. Um, this will provide additional time for the state to work out uh, um, on refining the operations of the state-owned landfill and, explore, and, and to allow us to explore some uh, alternative disposal options. Um, like, in that light, this uh, there has been uh, new legislation proposed, and I have to get the actual number. Um, and 718. 718. That has uh, this legislation, and it's being presented um, in the public hearing on May 8th. Um, and with the Environment and Natural Resource Committee, and I will be attending that um, to try to uh, get that to be passed. And then also, I attached the letter from Gleitfelter Claims Management confirming payment of the $61,499.69 towards the repair of the wastewater treatment facility emergency generator. Um, this represents the repair and rental costs, less the, the $5,000 policy deductible that we, we have. That's what I have the first place. Oops. Old business, we have not. New business, without new on offsite improvements. Okay, I've attached the plans and easements for the proposed offsite improvements at the intersection of Scarborough Downs Road and Route 1. To install the proposed traffic light, our force main needs to be relocated as shown on the proposed plan. Uh, basically, uh, the, the force main is going to have to do a little dog leg off the out of the pavement area around the traffic lights and then back, back in. Uh, legal counsel has reviewed and edited these documents and the, those changes have been incorporated into them. I recommend authorizing the superintendent to actually execute these proposed easements. Motion to allow the superintendent to uh, execute these easements. Thank you. I second. Thank you. 
Any questions from the from town about the easements? About what's going on at that intersection of East Lawn and the town border? Okay, uh, not, not so much about the easement, but, but the uh, drawing. I'm, I'm sure Gordon Palmer has, has, has this covered, but I'm sure there's some contingency in there for uh, bypassing, whether it's in, um, if you're able to shut that pump station off for a certain duration, or it's going to be done at night, or, or, or what? Um, actually, it can do you better than that. Uh, when I designed the pump station, there's actually two force mains there, and only one of them has to be relocated. David. Good, so we just have to switch over to the other force main. He did it for both, that one and the other one on campus. Okay. Just, yeah. Brilliant. Just like I always do, like copy. So, okay, so you have two force mains. Does, does one always sit, or do you? Use one for two months, then the other one, and then switch and use the other one, or, or just how do you do that? I'm just curious. Uh, one always sits right now. They're okay. actually two yeah. different sizes. Okay. Um, Big, but okay. Yeah, because yeah. uh, the the initial flows were low, yeah. and we needed the velocities in the pipe, right. and then the bigger one when the pipe flows go up, right. and then the two. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> What's that? The engineering trends <laughs> are <laughs> who's, who's paying for that? Uh, the Dallas. Oh, the Dallas. Yeah. I don't think you've ever seen you so excited. Uh, Engineers, they tell you. Yeah. At least we're all still holding on that. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Joe. Sorry. Um, now, any other questions for the superintendent? All in favor? No, of course. Thank you. <coughs> Home station number two bid. Yeah, what well repair and rehab bid bids were received on April 4th. One bid was received from T Bucks Construction. T Bucks. Um, for $399,404. Uh, we had budgeted $310 for this work. Uh, I recommend awarding this contract to Tiva Construction for the uh, $399,404 and amending our budget for this work for $450,000 to cover any additional change rules or engineering that may uh, occur. There, the uh, their superintendent for the project lives here right now. Well, at Holmes. Holmes came. Oh, he lives on Elmwood. Is it Elmwood? Uh, uh, we don't need to discuss people's addresses on. <laughs> um, That's true. Batman. Yep. Any any impact in your overall budget for the additional one hundred fifteen thousand? Uh, no, that that we do certainly sure. at that time. So that there's no issue with accepting a bid as far as unfortunately that's the trend now in terms of contractors are very busy. Yep. Any other questions for the superintendent on the job? I assume we worked with this contract before and you're comfortable. I'm very comfortable with you though. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Good job. No more questions. All in favor? All opposed? Thank you both. What's your summary? Uh, a few months for the summary. Is it going to be packed? Or can we do something? Second. Any questions on the budget? Um, there's one line item. Agency fund. We're mm -hmm. 135 percent spend. Is that from the deep manhole repair or? No, that was the monies that was from the uh, generator. That's right. 
And so we expended those monies, but we will be getting those monies back. Okay. Good. Less than the Less than the Cool. Excellent. Any other questions? All in favor? Public comments? Mailing public comments? I see no public commenting. How about a trustee comment? We'll start with uh, Joe. Uh, I'd just like to thank the staff for their continued great efforts. <clears throat> and uh, um, again, uh, no doubt that uh, the, the plant and everything was going to operate fine in Dave's absence. And again, Dave, very sorry for this. Jason. Uh, echo those comments. <laughs> Got to uh, spend some days down at the plant recently. Um, everything is running great down there. It was even during Dave's departure. But, uh, very sorry to hear the passing of your mom. Okay. Condolences. Uh, but uh, everybody was uh, great stepping in and helping out to create the seat. Cool. Mike. Um, I also have to echo uh, Joe and Jason's comments. Of the staff, I mean, time after time, it just seems like they step up and do an excellent job of whatever it's asking them. And uh, I'm sorry for the last thing. Thanks. I'll echo the, my fellow trustee comments. Continuance is great. Um, and I hope you don't mind. I'm going to join you on May 8th. And we can kind of pull up <coughs> to uh, the public hearing at the legislature. So, Said. I'll take the last uh, motion of the evening. Motion to adjourn. Thank you, Jason. Second. Thank you, Tom. All in favor. Yay. <laughs> <laughs>